Here's another example of solving systems of equations algebraically. Um, again, we're going to use elimination. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, kind of an interesting result here. Um, we'll go ahead. I, we, we, the first thing that we're going to do, just like we always do, is try to figure out which variable we'd like to eliminate. Uh, in this case, I could either eliminate B's or D's. Um, what I do is, let's see, let's say I want to eliminate B's. Um, I would just multiply this bottom row by 2, and that would get me 4B and negative 2B. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So I'm going to rewrite uh, equation number two, and I'm going to, and just to remind myself of what I'm doing, I'm going to write what I'm doing. Negative uh, two times negative two b plus d equals one, and then I'll go ahead and actually multiply it out. So negative four b plus two d equals two. Now, if you're like me and you write out all the steps. Oh, you're going to save yourself some trouble. This is a good way to eliminate those silly little mistakes. Okay, so the top row we just leave, so I'm just going to rewrite 4b minus 2d equals 5. And then we'll go ahead and we'll combine together uh, by adding. Since I made uh, negative 4b and positive 4b, I can add to eliminate. And when I do, it's negative 4b plus 4b, so that's 0. 2d plus negative 2d remember it's plus and when I add those two together I get 0 and then I get 2 plus 5 is 7 so equals 7 now this result um, is a little bit like in the example where we have infinitely many solutions except notice that we get two numbers that are not equal to each other and in this particular case what we end up with is something that's called no solution so let's go ahead and write that out this ends up with no solution now, uh, when we talk about no solution here, what we mean is that there are, if we graph these two lines, um, the, the, really the only way we're going to end up with a graph of two lines and get no solution is if those two lines are both parallel to one another. So, so I would imagine if we arrange these equations, we would find they have the same slope. Because remember, when two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So uh, so f it's no solution because they're parallel and there is no point where the two lines cross. Therefore, we will not find an ordered pair that is true for both this top equation and the bottom equation. So there you have it.